can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion for the numbers. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Lee. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Lands a quick jab. Ooh. Hands higher, hands higher. Oh, nice combination, yeah. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Lee. There's his jab. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. See what he can do here in the clinch. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Three minutes to go here, round one. Good kick. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing this punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic ability to land that punch. Big power shot there. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Well, we told you about that hook. There it is. Nice straight right lance. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. This is his game. He likes to control the opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the bar. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Lee. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. Oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Nice single. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Under a minute to go in our opening round. Beautiful leg kick lands. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, man. These are starting to hurt me, and I'm not getting punched. Just continual punishment with that hook. I mean, how many times can he land the strike before his opponent understands that he has to protect himself? It won't take many more. He better make an adjustment. Hands high, hands high. Final seconds here. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Great work. We won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work that this. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we are, early round two. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. Picture-perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Solid kick right there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Flipped him with the jab. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at work. I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right? This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Good. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. Single collar tie now. Doing a nice job elevating with those knees. Oh, man. All right, come on. You got to get that left hand up. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Hook to the head there by Lee. Oh, inside kick. Oh, man, another nice leg kick is there. Nice kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Now he's throwing that jab to the body. That's it. Oh, how is he absorbing these strikes? Massive knees to the head and the clinch. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Under two minutes here to go round two. Hook in the clinch there is good by Lee. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Take down. 
All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. In the half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. That was a slick transition. One minute now to go in round two. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Oh, well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Back and forth we go. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Oh, and the horn oh. sounds on round two. All right, take a seat. Listen, great round, man. You really kept the pressure on me. I told you you were gonna win this fight with cardio. Let's keep that pace up and let's keep putting that pressure on him. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, so next round underway here, and you've got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Fighter lands a jab. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate. In the beginning of the fight, you think, I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is, he has got to change something. Straight right, he misses. Nice job blocking the elbow. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body, starting to really bruise now. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Slash on the elbow from the clinch. Oh, Superman punch is good. Oh, nice. Come on, push through it. Able to land the left hand there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Left hook, yep. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, so a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Put your hands on fire. Oh, good lead right by Lee. Now 
Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. It's not over, it's not over, keep moving. Landing a good series of strikes here. Nice side there by the champ. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Nice hook there by Lee. Back to the jab now, no good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now some separation. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. His work, guys. Head kick partially blocked. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Lead kick is true there by Lee. 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Oh. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, right. John, is if the nose right. is broken. Right. Then right. it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Well, let's get to the next round. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of a fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Pretty good stuff getting that kick home. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice combination. Push kick there to the bottom. Continuing to work the body here. He's cut. Get the elbow. Unable to connect there. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, 
Blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. But that punch, no good. Now touches him with the left. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh. oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, nice high kick. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, that's a nice strike. Huge Superman punch. Oh, left hook. Oh, and he found the target again. Kick to the body by Lee. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Just misses with that one. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Looking to land the leg kick now. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do, the body is not meant to absorb that type of damage. No, you can prepare yourself so thoroughly and still not be ready for this, because this has been hard to watch. This guy has taken every shot that his opponent has thrown to his body. I'm amazed that he's even still standing right now. Lands with the left. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Keeping him honest with the jab. Oh. 20 minutes in the oh. can, five to go. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up. Yeah, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it. He's going to end the fight. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh! Straight right is there. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep that pressure up for me now. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Oh, the Superman punch lands! 
Every time he throws that leg kick, it lands with so much force. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Establishing the jab here. Going to the sidekick. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Three minutes now to go in this one. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Throwing that jab, no good. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Another massive body kick land. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Man, this dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they got to be thinking about getting involved. Ground beef, man. <laughs> Ground beef, John Anik. Look at the redness on his side. He is getting destroyed. He's been pounded to the body. He's been hurt to the body. And I would not be disappointed if the corner says, hey, I'm going to let my fighter live and fight another day. Well, most of you remember exactly when this cut happened, and now it is getting really bad. They're going to have a lot of cleanup to do before our next battle. Yes, they're going to have a lot of cleanup. I mean, it's you know, part of the, the thing, right? You go into a bloody octagon, you fight, you wrestle. It is what it is at that point, you know? And that's the beauty in being at the end of the night. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. There you go. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with this leg. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. On point with that jab today. Oh, Superman punch. 20 seconds to go. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, so a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion, but that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon!
Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed